The Mason machine gun, or more commonly known in English as the Madsen machine gun. This is an important historic weapon, considered the world's first mass-produced light machine gun. It was designed in Denmark in 1896 and adopted by the Royal Danish Army in 1902. The gun saw service in at least 34 countries. Here is a map highlighting nations who use the gun, making up about half the world. The weapon saw combat as early as the Russo-Japanese War and has popped up in more modern conflicts in places like Latin America. The Danes themselves used the Madsen in combat briefly April 9, 1940, defending their country. The gun had a production run from 1902 into the 1950s. Given the weapon's use around the world, it's also a famous movie weapon whether being used to battle monsters like Reptilicus, or filling in for other weapons on the big screen, such as replacing Japanese machine guns in movies like The Thin Red Line, or even in French cinema, mocked up to resemble Browning M1919 machine guns. It's also a notable weapon in the gaming universe, with its large magazine taking up a greedy amount of screen space. The Madsen machine gun design originates from a recoil-operated self-loading rifle developed in 1883 by Captain Wilhelm Hermann Olaf Madsen, a Danish artillery officer. The rifle took time to perfect. Moreover, advances in ammunition were required. Black powder ammunition common at the time was weak and caused fouling. In 1898, the Dansk Rifle Syndicate was formed and commercialized the rifle, buying the patent. The rifle was modified, but it was the use of smokeless powder that was key to the weapon's success. The Madsen machine gun was patented in 1901. The gun was well ahead of its time. It used a mixed recoil-operated locking system with a hinged bolt that was patterned after the lever-action Peabody Martini breech block. Extraction, feeding, and ramming are all performed independently by separate pieces of the mechanism. Cases are extracted from the bottom of the receiver by a lever-type extractor ejector mounted under the barrel. Everything about the operation is unusual, but it amazingly worked well. Ammunition is fed from the large, distinctive top-mounted curved box magazine. The Madsen uses a gravity-assisted feed, the magazines have no feed lips, as such it's possible to use different caliber bullets in a standard magazine. It is also possible to fire the weapon by dropping loose rounds into the magazine well. The feed position of the magazine is offset to the left of the gun, just as the oscillating feed arm is set to the left of the breech block. Magazines held between 25 and 40 rounds. Due to the offset magazine, the gun could be sighted near its center line. Charging is accomplished with a crank-like non-reciprocating charging handle on the right side of the receiver. Standard to the weapon was a folding bipod, and it could include a rear-mounted monopod installed under the butt. Many tripods and mountings were developed for the weapon, and it could be used in the anti-aircraft role. Despite the reliability of the gun, it was expensive and only used in limited numbers during World War I. Denmark was also neutral during the war and restricted selling armaments to Germany. However, the Germans intercepted a shipment of Madsens and formed light machine gun battalions armed with the gun. The gun was heavy, weighing just under 27 pounds, but it could be used by a single strong man or woman rushing a trench. Typically, the gun would be used as part of a team, with one man dedicated to reloading. Top-loading magazines have the advantage of being easily loaded by a second man. The air-cooled gun fired from an open bolt and could fire 450 rounds per minute. Overheated barrels were easily changed. The Madsen was the first machine gun to successfully use a top-loaded curved box magazine, which other successful firearms would adopt. Variants of the Madsen had selector switches for semi or full automatic fire, while others used a progressive trigger, a short pull for semi-automatic, 
and complete pull for fully automatic. A trigger block could ensure semi-automatic if needed. Alright, I'm Johnny. Thank you for watching this video on the Madsen machine gun. One Danish creation that won't flake out on you when your neighbors are coming for breakfast. Take care and have a nice rest of your day.